All week long, strategies to try and make communities safer have been underway across the country. As we end National Violence Prevention Week, it's important to know the work being done to help change the trajectory of people's lives is happening every day, starting well before and after victims are at local hospitals. Joining me now is Kentrell Galloway, director of the Next Step program at Hennepin Healthcare. Thank you so much for joining us this Sunday morning. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for having me. So the next step program starts basically when a victim of a shooting or some other violent crime is brought into the hospital for treatment. Explain where your team steps in very quickly, it sounds like. Yeah, my team meets anyone who comes into the emergency room at Abbott Northwestern, Hennepin Healthcare, and North Memorial. We start as soon as they arrive into what we call the stabilization room. Um, once they are stable by the physician staff, then we start to build a relationship with that patient and then with their family that's coming up to see what's happening with them. Um, want to make sure that the patient is getting the care that they need it, and also making sure that the family is understanding what's happening with their loved one while they're in the hospital, and also to calm the family down so that we can lessen retaliation back out in the community. And talk about the steps from there. I mean, you kind of stay by this person or this family's side even beyond that during their entire stay at the hospital, or what happens when they're discharged? Absolutely. Um, once they're in the hospital, if they get admitted to the hospital, then my team will follow them. Um, we start building goals based on what the patient needs that they feel like they're going to need to um, re back into the community because their life has been changed by the situation that happened to them. And then I have a team of uh, violent, violent prevention specialists who will then follow them in the community and then make sure that they are connected to the resources that they have set, that they said they have needed to help them get back up on their feet. And how many people are on your team? Because as we know, the number of violent crimes and shootings has drastically increased uh, in the past year plus in the Twin Cities. Has your, the number of people on your staff grown with that? How does that work? Uh, we have grown a little bit. We started off with uh, six folks. I have four full-time and then I had two part-time people. Now we've expanded to where I have eight full-time staff and five part-time people. But uh, like you said, we are a small team serving three large area hospitals. Yeah, and how many victims do you work with in a given year? Um, so when the program started in 2016 until now, we have 838 people. And we don't have what we call a discharge plan because you know what happens to a person stays with them for the rest of their life. So we are like that support system for the rest of their life. Um, in 20, in 2020, we signed up 115, and last year it was 121. Um, this year alone in 2022, we're already up to 58 people that we've signed up for the program. Wow. And as you mentioned, this isn't just at Hennepin Healthcare, it's at other hospitals. Would you like to see this eventually, you know, grow even more? Or do other cities have similar things like this in their metro hospitals? Um, I believe ours is the only one in the state of Minnesota. Um, Unfortunately, we I think we need, need to uh, grow a little bit more because we have to heal our community um, so we can start having a safer community for everyone that lives here. Um, if you ask me personally, I would not like to grow because that means more people are, are victims of or survivors of violent crimes. But in reality, we do need to grow because we have to provide um, healing and <coughs> we have to provide healing and folks to feel valued about their lives again. So that's what my team provides that hope that value um, and that safety net for people who are survivors of violent crimes. Well, very important work that you're doing in our community. Kentrell Galloway from Hennepin Healthcare. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Yep, thank you for having me. Our pleasure.